Yes. So, uh, again, good evening. I'm sorry. Uh, but I thought that you really need to know this information. Now, uh, this is one of my farmers. Actually, is one of the farmers on the forum. Uh, that farmer is a very good farmer, uh, actually. Though some things are still quaking, we really need to improve it, and I think we shall. I was telling you today, earlier, that um, what you really need to have before you do anything is having the pastures. So definitely I was talking about the pastures, the crories, the so on. This is a garden of crories. I want you to see how thick this crories is. Just imagine how many bales are there. So guys are bailing up, but this is the only small place that bailed. It's not even an acre, not even a quarter an acre. But do you see how many bales are there? There are really so many. So that's why I was telling you that if you really want to do farming, you can do it. This is a rancher. He has a square mile plus of land. So if I hear somebody saying that, we don't need to plant grasses. I really don't understand. Because during the dry spell, whichever grass you see there, it goes off. And then it dries up. They can burn it. They can do anything. But now he is sure that he has the grass all throughout. And what is happening is that he knows which ingredients are there. But in our grasses all over, we are not sure which animal has eaten, what. But now after the animal go there harvest, is supplementing using the crores. So like for the goaters, if you have like such kind of grass, just tell me whether you cannot do 100 goats on an acre of land. Look at what is here. Just tell me how much a goat can eat here. Do you know a goat can only eat 2 kgs in a day or 3 kgs? Even if it's taking 10 and you have your 4 acres and they all have such kind of stuff. So my dear farmers, let's be focused Let's plant the grasses. Let's be super, um, super farmers. So what happens with this, uh, this is a baler. You get? So you, after harvesting all your grass like this, you put it in here. You jump in, you compress it. Then after compressing, you, actually you have to put the threads there. Then you put in the grass, you compress it. Then after compressing, you tie, as you can see. This is what I'm talking about. These are the threads I'm talking about. So this was compressed here, and this was put in here. So after compressing, these are the threads I was talking about. After compressing, they tied, and then they opened up here to remove the bale. So you put your bale out. This is very easy. This is very easy to uh, to store, and then even to carry home. So. Dear farmers, me I think I've given you the, all the information that you may need. So it's the ball is in your hands, it's your choice, either to do what or what. But I, may, I have told you what you really need to do. But this is very good and this is a very good lesson to you people. So even if you have an acre and you have such kind of grasses, tell me how you can fail to have a goat. If you can add on more other grasses like the, 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 the legumes, the fodder trees, then why don't you do goats? Because basically goats do a lot of dry matter and you can see. Thank you. I'm even sweating for now, but that is very good. We do Uganda Zab, so make sure that we can be the best. Thank you.